those <laughs> pieces of paper that have no meaning to me <laughs> and that I find offensive I think because like they disrespect me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we still have to tour other communities. I think you should keep it respectful. Thank I'm you. just saying. <laughs> I appreciate you saying We it. hate to offend but you. I ask, I ask you to leave. Leave alone. <laughs> you can ask. We can <laughs> ask that you return to the plan. How about that for a deal? We've heard loud and clear. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, really? I'll refrain. Thank you. Chris, you better watch. You, uh, you better watch what you say. They got an RCMP there. He's on our side. I do want to say before everyone goes, to, I just want to thank you for coming out tonight. I know it's cold out there, and um, as Bridget said, we we've, we've heard your messages tonight, and. Um, I don't want you to feel that this was a waste of time. I don't feel like it was a waste of time for me. And it was, I can see that this is a very engaged community. And, I, and you know, I, it was good for me to, to hear um, your different comments. And um, I, I want to thank you from our team here for, for coming out tonight. So thank you. I just would like to add <coughs> earlier, um, Sarah Jerome, she's from Port McPherson, and she made a presentation in White Horse during the time we were there. We were there with the Gwich'in Liturgy, <clears throat> and she expressed that her parents were very much part of that land, Johnny Charlie and Jane Charlie. And I just would like for you to know that Johnny Charlie was the founder of the Porcupine Caribou Management Board, the founder of that land in that area. I remember in 1984 when he came down to Dawson. I was working with uh, with Chief Percy Henry at that time when they met, and they they found at this meeting, and it's still here today. So very much part of the land, and I just want to um, <clears throat> add to we are part of the land, and we are part of the water. I've heard a lot of the elders from from um, uh, Ted Lake, which in and express how their parents lived there, how Joe and Annie Henry lived there. Percy Henry was born there. You know, if anyone that expressed a feeling that they were born in the Spruce Tree, well, Percy Henry was born there, and so was his older sister. And we are also affected because we do, and we carry out a lot of uh, cultural activity at, on the Dempster with the young people who are very much much respected of the land and its animal and the water. Um, someone mentioned earlier that we do go up to the dumpster still to to um, fetch some nice fresh clean water. And that's what we like. We like to make it make our tea, we like to make we use it for our medicine, you know, and think about it. It's good for the government to think about it because even if you're a Yukon government, I'm trying to quit in. I, I have a government. But still, on the other hand, UIG today represents me as well. And I hope that they hear me when I do my presentation or express my, and I'll offer my comments. With the recommended plan that was presented prior to the changes, I think that we should work on with it. 